hey everyone welcome to ncx maths and in this video we are going to state and prove rational density theorem so rational density theorem states that between any two real numbers no matter how close they are we can find always another rational number between them so here we have its statement so for any two real numbers a and b so where a is less than b we can always find another rational number r so that a is less than r is less than b so this means between two real numbers we can always find another rational number so now we're going to prove this so here we have since a is less than b so we have b minus a is greater than zero and by and by archimedean property which we have discussed in our previous video there we exist a natural number and so that and b minus a is greater than one so where one is taken as another real number so for b minus a greater than zero and one taken as another real number so we can find a natural number n so that n b minus a is greater than one and this is by archimedean property or we can write it as one by n is less than b minus a so we're going to use it later and also for a real number n a we can always find an integer let's say m such that this n a lies between m minus 1 and m so this is so obvious that uh, let's take a real number uh, let's say 1.2 so for this we can find an integer 2 such that this 1.2 lies between 2 minus 1 and 2 so from these two we can say that a is less than m by n and from this fact that m minus 1 is less than n a we can write m is less than n a plus 1 so we're going to use these facts later so now let's sum up all these things so we have a is less than m by n so from here we have a is less than m by n and m is less than n a plus 1 so we can write that since m is less than n a plus 1 so we can write this n a plus 1 by n so as we separate the denominator we got a plus 1 by n and also from here we have 1 by n is less than b minus a so we can write a as it is and since this 1 by n is less than b minus a so we can write plus b minus a so this b minus a for this 1 by n less than b minus a so now these two things can be cancelled plus a and minus a so now we can write that a is less than m by n and finally this is less than b so since here we have b so we got a is less than m by n is less than b so obviously this m by n is a rational number so if we take this to be r so we can write a is less than r is less than b so this is how we can prove the rational density theorem and i hope you find this video useful and if you still have some confusions please comment down below and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel for more higher mathematics related videos thanks for watching have a nice time